A blood or marrow transplant starts with high doses of chemotherapy, radiation, or both, which is given to treat your disease and or to prepare your body to accept stem cells from a donor in the case of an allogeneic transplant. This is followed by an infusion of stem cells to restore bone marrow function. There are three stem cell sources for transplant. Cells can be collected from bone marrow, from peripheral blood, or from umbilical cord blood. Stem cells are immature cells that mature and divide to make the important cells for your body to function. They make up the red blood cells that carry oxygen, white blood cells that help fight off infections, and the platelets that prevent your body from bleeding. There are three donor sources. Autologous cells are your own. Allogeneic cells come from someone else. The donor may be related, such as a brother or sister, or unrelated. Syngeneic cells are from an identical twin. The following information is based on a typical transplant timeline. We will discuss each part of the transplant process throughout this video. The length of time it will take to complete this process will vary for each person, and your doctor will be able to help determine the length of time for you. Thank you.